So here's a fun idea for you guys. What if Light from Death Note were made into a Hearthstone card? Now, if you don't already know who Light from Death Note is, he's the main character of the show, and he kind of turns psychotic, becoming a character named Kira. And uh, I'm not going to spoil too much about it, but the whole idea of the Death Note is that you can write names in a book, and people will die under the circumstances that you write in the book that they will die, and it defaults to a heart attack. So, I've thought, if Light were a Hearthstone card, he should probably have an effect which allows him to destroy minions without actually attacking them directly. And it makes a lot of sense if you think about it, because the Death Note is like a proxy weapon. So you can just be looking at a television set and see the person's name appear on screen, write that down, and that person will die. Therefore, I figured it shouldn't be like a uh, Death Touch minion where you have to physically attack. So at the start of your turn, you may destroy a target minion. And I put may there because it doesn't exactly make sense if it's destroy target minion at the start of your turn because then your opponent could just not play any minions and you'd have to destroy one of your own minions. Um, but that doesn't really make sense because the death note is an item which you have control over, right? Now, of course, I do recognize the ability to destroy one minion per turn just outright as a card effect is very, very powerful in the leagues of some of the strongest Inspire effects. So that's why I have to take the Light Yagami card, Yagami is his last name by the way, and make it very undervalued in terms of stats. So he's a 4 mana 1 5, which, you know, if you get rid of the effect or you silence him, he would become pretty much worthless. A 1 5 is pretty crappy. I mean, even average, you're looking at a 3 5 Sinjin Shield Master or Refreshment Fender, whatever. But um, I think his stats also make some sense because as a character, he's really hard to pin down and destroy. And there are times where he gets, you know, pretty much beaten um, really hard. He's resilient is the point I'm trying to get across. So I'm having 5 HP, sort of makes some sense from a lore perspective. Um, but him only having one or even at some points in time, I was considering zero attack. Uh, it does make sense, because he's just a regular human being. He's not like Grimash Hellscream, where you're, you know, wielding Grimash, or Gorehal, or, uh, whatever, to defeat all your foes. He is more, he's methodical. He doesn't generally go up and punch things. Um, so him having one attack, just being like a regular dude, is fine. Um, he could have also argued for just having zero attack, because, as a character... He would always use his death note to take people out. He would never really resort to physical hand-to-hand -hand violence because it's way too open, it's out there, it's uh, too visible. It lets people see you. People know you committed a crime. It's very easy uh, to identify someone who just uh, did assault if he gets caught on camera. But uh, with a death note, it's a lot more complicated than that. So uh, all in all, I thought that this would be a pretty interesting card. I don't know if they would be really healthy for the game because it would change how the field is played when um, he's actually on the board. So, for instance, say that he comes onto the field, you don't have any minions and you don't have a response for light. Um, you probably wouldn't play a minion. Um, in fact, if he played, paid four mana to play light, then there's a good chance the rest of his board isn't that threatening, and you can just take the damage, sit back, relax, play like a freeze mage, just stall for time until you have the proper answers for everything. And I think that's okay. Um, it might actually be interesting to see how it would slow down some tempo decks, or it could potentially, because no one wants like to drop a piloted shredder and then immediately have its main body destroyed by some uh, random card effect, like uh, light. That would be a very sad day indeed. Um, now, another thing you'll notice about his HP is that I did put it at 5. I thought about 4 HP for a while, and 4 HP would be fair, because, you know, it would be like Frostbolt ping as an answer to him, or a swipe to answer him. But, <clears throat> considering he has such low attack, I, I felt that just one for one with a spell might be a little bit too generous to the responders and uh, it would kind of make it hard for him to be viable because there'd just be so many weaknesses like a flame cannon and he's gone and then you actually lose 
uh, mana and tempo on that, and that's no good. Um, so I put him at 5 HP, because you can still remove him with minions. Like, if you... If he puts, if he comes onto a board that already has minions to answer him, then he's just gonna go down really quickly. Cause yeah, okay, two minions trade into him like two three twos, and he deals one damage to each of them with his fist, and uh, that's not really value at all. So minions already answer him really good if they're already on the board. Um, he can really only come onto a board where there is a taunt to protect him, or it's pretty much an empty board to begin with. So, I felt that if you're going to remove him purely with spells, it should be a little bit harder than that. Um, and that's why he has 5 HP. So, overall, I think although this card is a little bit wonky, um, it is fairly well balanced and would be interesting. It would be very interesting to actually see. So, I've been Dark Skeleton. Thanks for taking a look at this card concept I came up with. If you have any co uh, questions or comments, feel free to let me know down below, and I will see you in the next video.